Well, Coach, what's going to constitute success for you in this program Friday against the Warriors? Uh, just uh, carry over. We had a close scrimmage uh, versus Memphis this past weekend, and we saw a lot of good things. And so now we've had a chance to watch Finn, look it over, make some changes, uh, corrections. So we want to be able to execute that. It will probably never be about the opponent for us. We have, we're on our own journey, and so we're heavily focused on what we need to do to be successful. Fan base has not seen your team play yet. Right. What, what are they to expect out of your group? Uh, I expect them to see just kids that love the game, that are excited and appreciative for the opportunity, and I think that comes from the top. It's not a day goes by that I'm not appreciative and grateful for the opportunity that I have, and we talk about that a lot as a unit. So that's something that when you see them on the floor, they're going to look like they want to be there, and um, they're going to give 100%. Kind of going off of that, what, have you said any, what kind of goals have you set for this team in yeah. 2018? That's funny that you said that. We really hadn't set a lot of goals just because the goals is long term. So we've been setting a lot of like short little wins, we call them. And so we've been talking about energy and attitude and effort and demeanor and, and uh, executing and controlling the controllables. But as far as goals, I, th I overheard them talking about something. But as far as getting together, we hadn't yet. And that was intentional. How's this first month been just for y'all to kind of finally officially practice yeah. and just kind of get yeah. a culture going? It's been great. It's been great because we had a few that were injured. There's Shandri because she's back and uh, looking great. You know, in the scrimmage, she did really well. She looked, real, looked good. And she's the exciting thing is she's not 100% yet. Uh, <clears throat> it's been awesome to just have 20 hours to get out there and, and work with them. Um, they have it's so much we have to get good at. And so we're trying to just limit that and let's see how much we can we can do in a, in a short time. How have the nine newcomers yeah. kind of been? I know you're familiar with yeah. them, but the other eight, how have they been blending in? Great. Um, it's a fun group. When you're going to go and just get a bunch of different people, then you have to get people with good personalities that will mesh. Or it can be, you know, it's a box of chocolates. Uh, my experience from coaching the national team has allowed me to come up with unique ideas to kind of get things going quickly in a short amount of time. Yeah. Where was, uh, did y'all go to Memphis or did Memphis come to y'all? Uh, we went to Memphis. Mm -hmm. What are some positives you've seen from last year's team that have kind of carried over? Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know much about last year's team. I hadn't had to learn about them because they're not here. And so, um, you know, from what I've heard and from people that have come in and watch our practice, they've just been excited about the energy. They've been excited about um, the fact that the kids look interested and that they're excited to play. Preseason expectations mm -hmm. for this group amongst media and polls and things like that are not very high. Right. What are your preseason expectations for this team? Right, that there you can only go up from there. <laughs> so just, just to get the kids to come out and compete and compete for 40 minutes. Uh, that, that is, I've never been a coach that I've worried about the wins and losses. Even in our most successful seasons, it's always been about the process. And so <clears throat> the things that we can control, playing hard, getting defensive stops, understanding what the game plan is and following it, that is the way I'm going to just look at everything. I know you can't speak on recruiting yeah. directly, but overall, yeah. since it's been here, yeah. uh, Sure, looked like y'all got a pretty big commit the other night. How is recruiting going? Yeah, we've actually we've been getting a lot of big commits. I mean, that she, that kid. Uh, I don't know if she was in the top fifty. Our first commit was was in the top fifty, and so um, we we've got some size. You know, I'm excited about where we're going. I cannot wait to announce what we've done, and then strategically, we have three on the back end that we're going to hold. I mean, let's just be honest, the transfer market is what it is, and I expect to take full advantage of it um, as the season goes on. Sandra, you could have got picked hey, second team. Yeah. I mean, obviously you have the expectations, but for the other coaches to have those expectations coming off an injury yeah. she had, I mean, what does that speak about? Yeah, that's why I told her, like, at my, at my other institution, you know, we got picked first, and I was like, oh, God, I hate getting picked first because, like, preseason, what does that mean? It means nothing. But for her, I told her, that is a sign of respect. She didn't even play in conference last year, so for them to put her on there shows. And I said, look, I didn't even get a vote. You know, so that is, that's the rest of the coaches. And, and I think that the, 
I thank God because that's really what she needs probably right now just to keep her going. She's excited about being back. She's special, so I'm, I'm excited about her. How do you feel like the team chemistry has been, you know, yeah. developed over the past month? Uh, as expected, uh, you know, they think that they're so close uh, that they don't have to communicate as much as they need to on the court. I do. I think that that's something that we need to up a notch because they have so much fun off the court. Like they're not at the point where they can read each other and, and know each other all the time. So sometimes if you watch us, you'll see mistakes made just because they're thinking that person knows who they are. And I'm so I'm just focusing in the staff, just talking to them about communicating right now at a high level so that um, it will become a natural form as the season goes on. But usually that takes a couple of years and we're gonna try to squeeze it all into five, six months. Friday is only your second different opponent.